The problem reads, find an equation of the line that is the intersection of the planes 3x plus y minus z minus 3 equals 0 and 2x minus y equals 1 if it exists. Let's see this geometrically first and then we'll work on the algebra. So let's draw the first plane. There's the first plane, 3x plus y minus z minus 3 equals 0. The second plane, 2x minus y equals 1. And we can see that there's a line of intersection. The only time there will not be a line of intersection is if the planes are parallel. In this case, they're not. So there's our line of intersection, and we want to find an equation of this line. So let's put up a little picture and go for the algebra. Now, in order to find an equation of a line, we need a point and a parallel directional vector. Well, there's lots of points on that line. That's because this line is the simultaneous solution of two equations in three unknowns. So there's infinitely many solutions, or there's none. But here, there's infinitely many solutions. Probably, there's a solution where x equals 1. If there's not, then we'll look for a solution when y equals 1. And if there's no solution to x equal 1 or y equals 1, then probably we can just look at the two planes and figure out a point because they will be very simple planes. So start with x equal 1. If that doesn't work, y equals 1. And if that doesn't work, then look carefully at the plane. Here we would have 3 times 1 plus y minus z minus 3 equals 0 and 2 times 1 minus y equals 1. This is a system of two equations in two unknowns, and it will have a solution, hopefully. So let's look. We have 3 plus y minus z minus 3 equals 0, and 2 minus y equals 1. The threes cancel. The z goes on the other side. We have y equals z. And the second one, the 1 goes here, and we have 1 equals y. Substituting back, we have 1 equals z and 1 equals y. And we started with x equal to 1, so the point we have found is 1, 1, 1, which is 1, 1, 1 right there. That's that point. And so we have a point. Now what do we need? We need a directional vector. This is actually the harder part here. The directional vector. What can we get from the two planes? We can find from their equations their normal vectors. So we can find vectors normal to the planes. The line lies on the planes, so it is parallel to the planes. So the line is normal to the normals of the planes. The line is normal to the normals of the planes. So the first thing we need to find is the normals of the plane. N1, and we just take off the components. They have to be all on the same side. So 3, 1, minus 1, and N2 is 2 minus 1, and there's no Z, so it's 0, 2 minus 1. 0. Now, how do we find a directional vector that's normal to these two vectors? Well, we take their vector product. So the directional vector we're looking for, RP, is going to be the vector product of N1 and N2. Well, that is just the determinant with I, J, K and the components. 3, 1, minus 1, and 2, minus 1, 0. And we're just going to write directly. So this would be i, j, and k here. So i is a plus sign, so it's 0. And then there's three minuses, so minus 1. Now, we have a minus for the j because the cofactor is negative here. So this is 0 minus minus 2, so it's 2. And we go back to a plus k, and it's minus 3, minus 2, which is minus 5. So now we have our point and our directional vector, and we will write the parametric form of the line. So that is x, y.
z equal 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 we write the point down one 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 and then we write the directional vector minus one times t minus two times t and minus five times t and cleaning this up we have x equals one minus t y equals one minus two t and z equals one minus five t and that's an answer to our problem